So we're going to start with Sharon and painting those tough exterior surfaces. She's actually working on a project of her own that's required just that. So let's take a look. Our big family pandemic project was building a gazebo in the backyard and staining the fence and it really made it a much more enjoyable spot for all of us for the summer, the fall, and even in the winter. So down here, I've got this great little sunken garden patio to walk out from the basement. It's very underused. Now, I need to do a big overhaul down the road and just sort of dig out some of this and build a new retaining wall. But in the meantime, I think it's a perfect little quiet spot for me to chill, maybe do some work from home. So I'm gonna make it a weekend makeover. Sharon, that is such a beautiful space. It's the twinkle lights for me. I love them. Why don't you take us through uh, what you've done? Oh my goodness, Trace, I absolutely love it. As we talked about before, it's like a nice sunken area, so it is nice and private. And really, I just feel like I found my new summer hideaway. So <laughs> as far as what I've done, I have to say I started with a great trip to HomeSense and got some wonderful pieces and you know I think that rattan always brings a tropical feel to any space inside and out so this little sofa bench it's so nice and for a small space it's an open weave so it's perfect for this little area and then of course you need a little surface area nice little table for your book or maybe your drink, which right now is water and a little bit later might be margaritas. But <laughs> gotta have those surface, right? And so it looks like you stained the pressure treated wood around the flower beds, which makes such a difference. It really does, Trace. I mean, I know this wood kind of needs redone over the next couple of years, but I've been saying that for 10 years. <laughs> so this year to finally stain it, <laughs> I'm the same as everyone. Um, I stained it the same as the Chelsea Gray semi-transparent that's on my fence for the rest of the backyard. So it just looks nice and clean and it really allows the greenery to pop. And I'm so happy that I have this space for the greenery. It's so relaxing. But I also love containers because I love to be able to bring those tropicals that are inside, bring them outside for the summer. So so again, in a small space, you can move things around to the sun. And then, of course, for the carpet, speaking of bringing things from the inside out, I love that idea that we're doing an interior design where we're layering carpets. It really gives you a nice opportunity for color and pattern. And again, it really grounds the space nicely outside here as well. Oh, yeah. Rugs always add that instant comfort to a situation. So that is lovely. Now, you mentioned the area is brighter. Did you paint the block wall? I did, Tracy. I painted the concrete block wall. You know, concrete block is such an important and strong, durable material for construction, but it's not the prettiest looking thing to my husband it was, but not to me. <laughs> so it was just the perfect opportunity to give it a little refresh. So I painted it with Revere Pewter. So it's a nice neutral gray that kind of blends in with my siding, so it also helps make the space feel more cohesive. Mm. I love Revere Pewter. That's a favorite one for me. So it's a pretty rough surface, uh, Sharon. I imagine that there were probably a few steps involved. Absolutely, Trace. It is, it is very rough and it's not like your typical paint project. So I did start by giving it a really good cleaning. So I used Benjamin Moore's clean product, gave it a bit of a scrub and then rinsed it off with clean water. Then the really important thing is with porous materials like this, like brick and concrete, you have to let it dry for a good two days at least. So I get lots of sun down here. Um, so it was it, two days was perfect. And then I used a thick block primer. So it's a block fill, a block filler primer. And that is nice and thick and goopy. So it really worked on the concrete finished drying in like two, three hours. So I was able to put two coats of the top coat on right after that. And I used Regal Select Exterior High Build. So it's also a nice thick product, which is great for this surface. And it's also breathable. So it allows the moisture to sort of come out, all the vapor to come out. So it's a good option. I use flat because I just don't want my textured concrete wall to be shiny. So yeah. you want to think about the sheen for sure. Okay, Cher, what if you want to paint brick or stucco outside? Is it pretty much the same process? It is pretty much, Tracy, because they're masonry products. Well, brick is a masonry product and stucco is a very porous um, product. So you definitely do need to do the same process. You got to make sure it's super, super dry. That's like really important. And of course, clean. Um, so with brick though, you don't need to use a heavy duty, like a thick block primer, like I did for the concrete wall. You can get away with just using a regular Fresh Start primer, one of the Fresh Start all-purpose primers, if you need to use that for the brick. But it usually does help to sort of seal the brick before you put the paint on. And again, you can just use the same um, 
thick pile roller sleeve for sure because there are grooves in brick and then you can use Aura or Regal exterior and I still use the same cleaning product for both of those. Stucco is pretty much the exact same thing. Want to make sure it's clean, do any repairs in advance um, and then you can just go directly right onto that with two coats of probably a flat or maybe a low luster but I probably wouldn't go too much shinier than that on these masonry products. You want to keep them nice and sort of feeling natural. It's like you, you always tell us it's the, it's the cleaning, the cleaning, the prep the prep and then you get the good product like it's just it's just the way it goes so I absolutely love when our viewers reach out with their questions and then they follow through with the advice we give them makes us so happy so last summer Tanya reached out to Sharon looking for help with her exterior in the end she replaced her siding and painted the brick to match stained the wooden wooded deck and painted the garage and front door black it looks Phenomenal. So thank you, Tanya, for sending us a photo of the completed project. I tell y'all all all the time, if you do what we say on the show, send it to us because we want to gas you up on the show. We want to like give you applause and say thank you. And a big thank you to Sharon for all of those tips. Uh, You're amazingly giving with your tips on camera and off.